This is Alex Howard for O'Reilly Media outside of the White House. And I'm here with someone who's uh, well known to folks in NASA, a knowledge management perhaps not to the general public. Can you tell me more about who you are and what you do? Hi, I'm Jean Holm, and I'm the Chief Knowledge Architect at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And I work with the United Nations in looking at ways of bridging across all of our space agencies across the globe to share data, share knowledge, and help each other explore space and the world around us. So you were telling me about this thing you described as the International Ontology of Space. Could you explain what that is? Sure. So one of the things we're trying to figure out is how to get all of the different governments to be able to share data related to space. So China, Russia, France, America, all of us have both technical barriers as well as different politics that sometimes make it difficult for scientists to share data. So what we're trying to do with the International Ontology for Space is create the framework by which we can share data about any mission, any project that the governments are interested in having us collaborate on so that when and if it's appropriate for people to share, that it's all set. So it's a looking at ways of describing data, of managing data, of sharing data, and it works in a federated way. This lets everybody have ownership of different aspects of the ontology, so not any one organization owns it, not any one country, not any one language, but the whole world as a global space community. So what does open linked data uh, around space uh, mean potentially for countries and people living outside of the United States? So the idea about open linked data um, is not just kind of how interesting is it for scientists to share information about exploring Mars or trying to find better launch vehicles, but it's actually about trying to make life better for every individual on the planet. So it's about the quality of life for anybody, whether it's a citizen of the United States or whether it's somebody in a rural village in Africa. For example, next year we're organizing a UN conference in South Africa that's about space for Africa. And this brings climate data, weather data, planting information, down to rural villages in Africa to help them look at issues around telemedicine, teleeducation, and access to clean food and water. So how do you deliver uh, data of that kind uh, to a village that has, say, one cell phone b uh, between everyone? So the idea is that we're working with the presidents in the African Union to try to identify the very specific issues that are facing all of their national citizenry. So that depends on whether or not their issues are, are in um, Zimbabwe, issues in Ethiopia, Opia, issues in South Africa, whether it's in a rural or, or an urban area, and trying to get the data packets and the, the, the little aspects of data down to a cell phone access, especially when people are, are using very scarce numbers of minutes and very scarce numbers of, um, of data units. We just want to make sure that we're delivering the information that they subscribe to, that they need access to, and that is relevant to their specific part of the globe. And if people want to get more information about this uh, international ontology of space or uh, data at NASA, where should they go online? So our website is up under the International Astronautical Academy, so it's iafastro.org. Thank you so much.